Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is JC. First, let me thank you for taking the time out of your very important and busy schedules to come out to this event, to this forum tonight. You and this audience will be making the determination as to who will be the next leader of this city. It will be you in this room that chooses the next mayor of the city of Hartford. This is going to be, without a doubt, one of the most important elections in Hartford's history. And it will be you that makes the decision as to where this city heads. So tonight, my intention is to deliver to you the tools that you need to make the right decision as to who should be your next mayor. I want to share with you my vision. I want to share with you my platform as it relates to the city of Hartford in terms of first, economic development, secondly, housing, third, education, and last but not least, public safety. Now I know many of you have issues and concerns that go beyond that. That's why I'm here, to listen to your issues and to answer every question that you have. I consider it an honor, I consider it a privilege I look forward to the opportunity to have a conversation with you tonight. Thank you for coming. Do you have a plan to compensate people who are hard hit by property crash because they overextended themselves in trying to purchase properties? Do I have a plan? You may have wanted to take your own question. <laughs> I think the Obama administration has a plan. Uh, I think that um, I, I, we could come up with a plan. Well, certainly that would help people uh, to understand the you know the obligations that go along with home ownership. Well, certainly if we're going to extend to people the opportunity for home ownership, which uh, you know Penny believe and I happen to be one of them, that home ownership helps anchor communities. I think if you're going to do that, uh, well certainly we should be able to invest in giving people the tools necessary to maintain uh, their home ownerships. Uh, with the economy the way it is, we're close to a deep recession, if not depression as quietly as it is kept. I think that uh, a lot of people are going to be having trouble. Most well, certainly I would be embracing plan that the Obama administration has, and I would make it my mission to get the information out to people so that they could take advantage of it. Okay. Well, thank you, and my sincere apology for uh, that's, that's okay. Great. Don't call me to the studio. I actually have a plan for this. Uh, one I've been doing for a lot, of, you know, a lot of time. I think that this is a perfect opportunity to do your re-entry, prisoner re-entry program. And you can tie this into also getting local officials, whether they be school teachers, police officers, to work and live in the city. What you do is you take a blighted property, you take two of them, and you would have the building available for individuals who are being re entered into our city. And you let them rehab that house. You give them the house to then sell. You give them two houses. One house is used to go to a city employee, teacher, fireman, police officer so that they become vested in the community. But by using the other house to have prisoner re-entry, rehab that house, they now have a vested interest in maintaining that property and also making sure that the people that live in the community respect and maintain the property. 
I'm running out of time, so I will have you get in touch with me back at the table at the end of the debate. Very good program, and I want you to uh, contact me about it. I don't know if the issue is attracting businesses here or whether we're talking economic development. I'm old fashioned when it comes to economic development. How do you take something that has a little bit of value and turn it into something that has a lot of value? Hartford has tremendous talent, and I think that we need to tap into that talent. We have uh, Jim Amon's Hollywood East, fabulous program. People talk about the relationships. Well, I have a relationship with someone who is in the entertainment business. And he wants to take a chance and he wants to risk coming to Hartford to put his business here. But as far as he's concerned, the thing that hinders him most is the current municipal administration. That's not to say that the current mayor is the issue, but the infrastructure of what Hartford's municipal government, that's the issue. He grew up here, he was born and bred here, he knows all the players here. And he said to me, I'll come, but I'm not coming with a dysfunctional municipal government that is there. Yeah, we do need better schools, we need lower taxes, you know, chicken and the egg, all that stuff. We all know that. But how are you going to kickstart this? you got to get people to invest and you got to get businesses to take risks. That's what businesses do. And if you want to get a business that's going to take a risk on Hartford, you're going to have to leverage relationships. I have a relationship like that that I can leverage. As I've been telling people throughout this campaign, I'll bring business here. In fact, I'll deliver them here before I'm elected. If I don't do it, don't vote for me. Yeah, I don't have a PhD in rocket science, and I'm a lawyer, just now a citizen. And I think that's what's missing from municipal government. I think that's what's missing from government all the way around. Average folk, ladies and gentlemen, you are the government. Let's not forget that. Of the people, by the people, for the people. You're the government. I'm here to represent your interests. You're not people living on a plantation waiting for me to make some master decision as to what's best for you. You know what's best for you. That's why you have state representatives and senators, and that's why you have council people and a mayor to put into place the things that you want. And so the thing that best qualifies, I believe, somebody to be mayor is someone that has a heart for the people that's willing to serve and understands who they work for. I'm applying to work for you. As far as I'm concerned, everyone in government works for me. I have had relationships across the city. I have helped nonprofit agencies. I've consulted with everybody from the MDC on down to San Juan Center. It is the relationships that you have with the people of Hartford and our willingness to give your all that best qualifies you to serve as a man. Yes. Um, well, Hartford is at a crossroads. This is going to be a very important election, and it's going to be up to you to get the vote out. I have a plan to revitalize Hartford. I want to see Hartford be the rising star that it can be. But if that's going to happen, Hartford's going to need serious economic development. And that means we're going to have to be able to bring jobs here. We're going to have to be able to add to the tax roll because the tax burden is killing the city as it is. We've got to do something significant about the crime that is running wild in the city. It is, in my opinion, that Hartford is not mismanaged, Hartford isn't managed at all. I want for you to pay close attention as we start this debate season. Attend as many of them as you can so that you can make up your mind. You deserve more than a 30 second sound bite, so I'm gonna ask you to go to MacaulayForMayor.com and on election day, vote for Jason and McCall. Thank you. Hi, my name is Marlon E. Styler Sr. Many of you may know me as the two-time what to champion of the world. I'm here to tell you that Democrat J. Stan McCauley, as our next mayor, will fight for you until the last bell. Help me throw a knockout punch. 
Go out and vote for Stanley Man. Jay Say Macaulay and I approve this message. Stop, take some time to think, figure out what's important to you. Stop, take some time to think, figure out what's important to you. You gotta make a serious decision. Take some time to think.